We got shameless shout outs coming up in some I'm glad someone had fun in a basketball <laughs> arena because I didn't have fun watching the Warriors last night. I was disgusted. So we were talking about Curry in the fourth quarter. I knew quarter. they were going to lose. You talk about Curry in the fourth quarter. I challenge you to watch it back. Oh, I watch did. Watch those possessions. I charted it. And, and you know what? It's hard for me to put it on Curry when I look at the lineups and I look at guys missing shots and taking bad shots. And a lot of shots that Curry, the, the few shots that Curry did take, shot clock's under three seconds. Under three seconds. Yeah, but that's that's a byproduct of dribbling, hard pounding. It wasn't and, him just dribbling. No, it was I'm not other saying guys dribbling. Him, but like, it was other guys dribbling. When to you're set a up superstar late in games, I mean, we just do this in basketball. You, in the NBA, you throw it to your best player and you say, go get us a bucket. I mean, that's just, that's that's what. They that's, doubled him. They doubled him and forced well, him to give up I mean, the ball. I mean, B. They, and they put length and strength on him. Aaron Gordon is a very good defender. Oh, no doubt. Very good and defender. And KCP was so, chasing him. So, you know, I'm not going to say, hey, it was Curry's fault. It was a team wide breakdown. You, you, you well, got no, to the he, bonus. You, got, you, you fouled them 94 feet away from the hoop. They're getting free throws. The clock is stopped. They're setting up their defense. That's a team wide breakdown. Of course. And to me, it starts with the coach and the combinations that he's playing. And I'm so sick of this whole, we got 11. 12 players. 11, 12 oh, players. You didn't hear 11, 12 Van players. Van Gundy over and over. Kurt tells me they have 11 guys they trust. Yeah, well, one of them's name's Jonathan Kaminga, and you don't trust him late in games. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm, Did you know that they didn't get one shot outside of the Trace Jackson Davis in the paint yeah, in the final seven minutes? Yeah, 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 and was, 75% well of Kaminga's shots come in the paint. I'm well aware. I'm well aware, Shasky. I, I'm from the Pat Riley School of Thought. What's that? Use eight, rotate seven, Play six, trust five. <laughs> I like that. Play eight. Now, this is for the playoffs, but in the regular season, I'm playing nine. The Denver Nuggets yesterday, how many guys did they play? Overall, they played one, two, three. They played 10 guys. Eight guys played at least 18 minutes at 30, or excuse me, 16 minutes. Julian Strother, whoever the hell he was, played nine minutes. And Zeke Naji played six minutes. That's it. That's it. You don't need to play guys, 11 guys, 20 minutes a game. Well, play me nine. Especially when you look at some of these combinations. And I focused on Wiggins. Uh, but, like, CP3 is a great example. I love CP3. I think he's he provides a lot for this team. But there, it's very important what combinations you put out there with him. When JK and him play together, I actually see a, a good yeah. version of JK. Not a perfect one. But when you play CP3 and Steph Curry, you better be very, very careful what other positions you put out there defensively to mask their inefficiencies. Yeah. And when you're playing a team as big and as physical as Denver is, and you have CP3 and Steph Curry out there to close games, you are at a disadvantage. Very. Big very. disadvantage. And when you have a guy who's as versatile, fast, and powerful, and rebounding, and can protect the rim in the way J.K. has, because he's come on defensively as a rim protector. And he's not the greatest, but he's on this team, he's he's a plus defender. Why he doesn't play? Why, like, offensively it makes sense to get to get uh, go to the free throw line, get a bucket at, around the rim. Defensively, he can guard on the perimeter, and he gives you a little backbone on that back line. I don't understand why he wasn't there. Nobody does. Nobody does. Somebody just say, hey, man, let's flip the energy. Let's talk football. Oh, uh, Sure, let's let's flip the energy to Sam Darnold start against the L.A. Rams. Oh, I'm so excited. Carson Wentz versus Sam Darnold. I can't give away these tickets for free. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't either. Austin and Redwood City. Austin and Redwood City. <laughs> What's happening, Austin? Hey, nothing much. Hey, man, I'm just mad at y'all about last night. But, man, what I really call it to say is I can't wait for Draymond to come back. There's way too many people in the world handling the ball. We don't need too many handling. We only need, like, what, three, Curry, CP, and Dre. Draymond changed a lot of things. Everybody hating on Draymond. I don't need y'all to back off of him, please. He got his, what, four titles? It's yeah, but Austin, he's not available right for it. Hey, hey, listen, I – and I'll let you I'll let you finish, Austin – i am said it over and over, whether it's TV or radio. Draymond's had a really good year on the court. The problem is he's missed more than half the games, and he's missed 16 games due to his own actions of suspensions, and he's got ejected in three other games. So it's a Draymond problem. That's what I'm ticked off about. In the most important season of his career, his words, not mine. Draymond's words, not mine. In the most important season of his career, he hasn't been available for half the games. That's why we're laying on Draymond Green, Austin. 
Yeah, you're right. You're right. But at the same time, the man still got us for a title when he's available. Right. He, I feel like he can come back a totally different person, man. We will get a a, 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 a slim Draymond. In, in a more, they're talking about he needs to ramp up. <laughs> they're, not, they're talking about he needs to get back in basketball shape, Austin. Your favorite term, ramping up? Yeah. <laughs> Austin, continue. I'm sorry. I let me go get a better Draymond. Watch. I guarantee we'll get a, a better offense. For Draymond. about, what, five more, minutes? More. And then what? What happens when he and, gets and, that, and, and, what happens when he gets that little, same little call that Looney got on Jokic? That 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 offensive foul uh, that little, Looney little, got little, was just terrific. Yeah. Austin, go ahead, finish, finish strong. I'm sorry. Aaron would never did what he did last night, and Draymond was on the court. That's all I'm saying. We would have won that game if he was on the court. We just need him to stop doing that nonsense. Yeah. That's all we need. You know, it's been 12 years of it. Um, stop but, the nonsense. But, but, but you know what? That's Austin, literally the problem. I, you know what's funny, though? Stop the nonsense. Austin, Austin is right, though, about that last part. But I don't even want to see that, bro. But, but you know what? He is right. What's that? Could have used Draymond for oh, whatever. I, but I'm tired of hearing yeah, that. No, I hear that. I why, am too. That's why I'm so I frustrated and exhausted with I him. I am too. Could have used him. Oh, my God. Well, if well. only he would have checked his emotions and been available. I do like his optimism, though, that, you know, when Draymond comes back, we'll get a better version of him. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. How? I don't how? buy into it, but I, I appreciate it. <laughs>